previously. Ah, oh, I didn't put it with stone. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I got statue as well. I should have put that statue away. Okay, right, we're all good. We'll sort this out later. Got the ammo to put away as well. I should be quite full. Oh, we are full. Candy corn. I'll just throw you in here for now. All good. I've also got stars in there as well for the star cannon. Since it technically, technically ammo, but I also have a few chests full. Okay, so. Right. I'm thinking that we should take on the build of this in a second. First, we'll do the old classic. We'll see if Plantera's down in her basement dungeon. If she is, we'll kill her and then move on through. Fingers crossed for the axe. I'm not holding out any real hope for this. It's one of those things that's really rare. 200 to 1 drop chance. Probably killed her that many times, but you know, we're, we're never going to get it on our first try, or second, or 10,000. Uh, she doesn't even come back. Screw her, then we'll move through to the underground hollow. Now, what, what I'm going to do is next night time is a pumpkin moon again. And then I'm going to call it quits for recording. Not for today, but for now. Because it is, uh, it's, I think it's like nearly 5 o'clock. And I'm hungry. I've had nothing to eat at all. I've been so, so busy today. Uh, oh, which for you guys would have been a while ago, I guess. For me, it's the 5th today. So, let's see what time this video goes out. Uh, yeah, the 5th. So, I was still... I was out all this morning because I was sorting out tax forms and stuff for the whole, you know, having YouTube as a career now. You wouldn't believe the amount of forms and stuff you have to sort out to, to, uh, to uh, have this going. But it's done. And I'm no longer worried. It's one of those things I've recently noticed of um, life imitating art, imitating life. Because I seem to have no time at all in this game. It's like I start to do something here, and then suddenly it's night time, and I have to go do that. But it's today, it's, I've, it's nearly 5 o'clock, like I say, and I haven't done anywhere near as much recording as I would have liked. Right, so let's space this place out. It's awfully dark, should have brought torches. Ah, oh, you know what I can do? Oh, I already have one out. <laughs> Never mind, I can't do that. Uh, let's... I think if we just open a big space, and then what we can do is f put in lots of spawning areas. So let's say from here, where this water is, hey, hey now, to a little lower. It's going to be here. Perfect, right. Let's dig out a space. We've got some mithril low on that as well and here how big is that that is a decent sized area cool right give me hellstone and I'm going to hellstone this place up a little bit ha I tricked you slash you fell in a hole Get out back, get out. You're not welcome. So see how much we can get done of this before we run out of time. Which may not be a great deal. It may be a fair amount, who knows. We're in no rush to get it done. The sooner the better, but... Why was I even caring if water flooded this area? It has no, no effect whatsoever. You know what's going to happen though? As soon as I'm finished building it, or before I'm finished building it, as I'm building it, I'll end up getting the Rod of Discord. 
Which would be nice, but at the same time it's like I've put all this effort into doing something now. That's just my luck. Bad luck disguised as good luck. I know the difference. Oh, you're so dark! I'm glad I have this wisp in a bottle to provide light. Because otherwise, I wouldn't be able to see Jack Crap. So my plan is basically just make lots of platforms for the uh, what's it called the Chaos Elemental to spawn on, and then have him able to drop over the edge of his spawn platforms into like this space, and in that space is going to be a teleporter. So they will all get teleported to a specific place. No, okay. They all get teleported to a specific place where they are then unceremoniously killed and I'm stood there waiting to pick up their loot. Oops, it easy. A bit higher. Here's one of those things though of... Okay, just gotta dig out the area a bit. I always find it's easier to build from scratch than trying to build something that exists. I hate you, get away, you're not welcome here. I never want to see you again. It dropped two souls of light. That's, um... Strange. Hey, jewels! Some topazes. And up here, for three of these. Now, I don't think we need a particularly massive area. I think not so much bigger than this should be good, actually. This one. If we make it too big, things aren't going to spawn because of the whole spawning requirements. They can't be too close, they can't be too far away. Let's have a look at how this is looking now. So if I were to stand in the middle, which would be roughly here, it'll go like that, like that, like that. It's not horrendous, I think maybe just a little bit bigger. One more, maybe. And then that will do us for an area space. That place is horrendously covered in crap. Right, fill in with a pearl stone across and here. I definitely want to get rid of that waterfall because it looks ugly. It has no impact on anything. Why am I not able to Place these. There we go. Right. Yeah, the waterfall doesn't really have an impact on anything other than aesthetics, but at the same time, I don't want it to be there. You're the crap one, I don't give a crap about. You can go die as far as I'm concerned. Wasting space and time. Oh, you come back. Don't care. I said go away. How high do I want this to go to? I guess he is probably. Preferable. I'm gonna die to a bat. Get away. Get away, bat. That's corruption there, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna have to, um. Get rid of that. Push that back a little bit. Now, I know corruption can't spread onto Hallow and Hallow onto corruption. I think Hallow used to be able to overtake corruption. But I don't think it can anymore. Could be wrong on that. Either way, we'll push it back. We have no interest in it being so close. And now we'll just continue doing this other thing. How far do we need to go? To here. Chaos Elemental! Okay, no rod of discard. I'm happy, but also disappointed. Get rid of that and that. Ooh. And. Build this up here, like so. Okay. Hey, hey! No run discard. Okay, that's fine, but it's nice. Very big open space, actually, a lot bigger than I expected. Cool. So, what we just want to do is have spaces for them to spawn, which should be like every three. Hi, and then we'll drag it out to like a middle point. Uh. I probably should work out the actual middle, shouldn't I? Right. Easy way to do that. This is what you'll see me do a lot in my let's builds, is I'm placing down blocks seemingly randomly, but I'm not. I'm using the blocks themselves to count. 
So, I have 896 on me, and if I just go straight across, I have now 858, which means I've used 38. If that's correct, so halfway point of 38 would be 19, so there is no middle middle. We could just push this back one more, and that gives us a middle, which would be 20. I've already forgot what the numbers were. This is also why you'll see me in a video sometimes replace the blocks after I've placed them, because I've already forgotten the numbers that I were giving. Given, get out of my face! You just... Angering me. Right, so we want to push this back one more. Easy. Peasy. Like this. Fill it in as we go up. I know I made more weight for myself there by digging away stuff that I could have easily left. But, you know what I'm like. I'm an idiot. And while I'm here... Give me those sapphires. Haha. <laughs> fell off. That crystal's gonna be in the way. It's fine. Oh, dandy dandy do. Chaos Elemental, eight. No, come here. I don't see one. Okay, good. Good? Not good. But, okay. All the way up we go, like this. Right, now we need to find the middle point. Easy way to find the middle point, you'll see me this, doing this in my videos too, is to take like 12 of these, bin them. Now I have exactly 900. Much easier to count how many bricks you're doing this way. Chaos Elemental. So if you get attacked something like that and you lose count, it doesn't matter. Because you know you had 900 to begin with, which is a nice solid number. So we now have 861, which means we used 39. Halfway point of 39 would be 19. So we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In fact, it even tells us. So, 19. So this right here is our middle point. So if I raise this up like that, I now know that is where the teleporter is going to go. Now where is this freaking waterfall coming from? How does this even exist? How does this waterfall even exist? Get rid of it. Holy hell, this place is just spawning ridiculous amounts. Right, it looks like... Yeah, there we go. So it looks like it's about to be night time. So, let's get out of here. And our inventory is very, very full. Doesn't matter. We're only here for one thing anyway. So we're going to go ahead straight to the arena. After we grab our stuff. Keep our eyes open for that Headless Horseman mask. The Jack-O-Lantern mask. And then... Pick it up when we see it. We don't care about the glow sticks, the fish... Canicon rifles, the snake launchers, the necromantic scrolls, all that stuff. Hello. We don't care about any of that. We just want the jack-o'-lantern launch, no, the jack-o'-lantern mask. So as soon as we see that drop onto the ground, we're picking it up. We'll jump down and we'll grab it.
Right, let's rig our inventory of a bunch of crap. I'm really through with this fish. Feel bad. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of these. Get rid of that. So we did get the mask look right here. I spotted it down below. It was tricky though because it looked almost exactly like exactly like a regular pumpkin head. The only reason I got suspicious of it not being a regular pumpkin head was because uh, it didn't roll. The other heads, when they were dropped, would roll around. This one just dropped and was as is. Uh, get rid of that. There we go. So, I'm going to take this stuff home, and I'm going to put it away off camera, because I am going to stop recording for a bit, get something to eat and drink and rest my voice, and I managed to make a platinum out of that as well, look. So when we come back, we have nighttime free again. We don't need the pumpkin moons, which means what we can do, I can even take this out, is do some of the challenges I've been given, which need nighttime, or at least a partial nighttime to do. So there's two challenges there, which I'm going to try to do, and a few other bits and bobs too. So for now, goodbye. <laughs>